Okay guys, we're back here on the Cant Twist. <clears throat> I got everything drilled and threaded. Okay, I have these, um, I think these are five millimeter in length. And this one over here is eight. So you can see the difference there. I'm going to try to use the eights. If you can see that, I got that. It's not pinged, I got it bludgeoned down. Um, I put a little center hole in the end of it so it would spread a little easier. And we're yet to, uh, yet to, uh, put a Tommy bar in here. But she's all ready to go together. Um, I had cap head screws. I had one cap head screw, three millimeter. The store I was at didn't offer any of that. And so I went ahead and turned these countersunk these to take the head of that screw that's the long one so let's try that long one with a little bit of um, I guess I don't need the R680 let me put a dab of uh, block tight on here am I not doing something there it is and open the bottle open the nozzle and there it comes A couple of these holes are not as deep. You may not take that eight millimeter. These are supposed to be stainless steel. It should not be magnetic, I don't think. Paid for stainless steel anyway. And this may just be too long. Yeah, that's going to be too long for there. So. Put that aside. In the last video, I had some close ups at the end, and they looked horrible. Basically, because um, Strip on me. 
Is that too big for that? Oh dear. I'm gonna come back to that. Let me try. I'm gonna try this long one over here. I have another screwdriver. going on here that's cross threaded obviously I see what the problem is my uh, my pin in the center here is spinning so I have that captured now That one's gonna have to go with these short ones, I guess. It's just a matter of not cross threading it. Do it until that. Yeah, that's good and tight. This one's damn near stripped. Well, I'll come back to that if I have an extra. I should have an extra screw. So here's another shorty. I think I would have had the length had I uh, obviously if I tapped it a little deeper, but um, the large chamfer on Where'd the screw go? The large chamfer on the uh, washer is giving me a lot more uh, contact area. I'll get this together, I promise. God, I'm just trying to screw some screws in. There's the other long, short one. Unfortunately, there's um, five screws in a pack. Because I apparently deformed the head of that, of this, that first screw. At least the last one I had in my hand. I'm going to 
cross threaded and this one's going in straight and good and tight very good now here's the last one up here it obviously hasn't been molested yet but you know I haven't got it screwed in yet either. I really didn't, uh, obviously I didn't film I didn't record rather uh, yeah that's taking a while Okay, there's that, that, let's come back here, that's good and tight. As is that one. So, I'm going to take this into the wire wheel and dress those edges down. Much like this one's already been done. And let's back this thing out. Boy, it's pretty pathetic. Trying to drive in, trying to drive in uh, four screws, but you know there we go. From trash can to third drawer in the chest, tool chest. Okay, I got rid of all the all the hard edges there. It's all pretty, nothing grabs the skin. Now I'll touch this up a little bit up here. But uh, yeah, there we go from, from dumpster to clamp drawer. Need to uh, drill me a hole here for a Tommy bar and uh, it'll be complete. Okay, not a giant job or anything or anything super difficult, thank God, because, you know, the hardest part, <laughs> the part I struggled the hardest with was screwing the damn screws in in the end. You try to film stuff and you stay out of the way of the camera lens and I can make up all kinds of excuses why I can't turn a screw. Quality of the screwdriver and 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 Okay guys, <laughs> thanks for coming along. Like and subscribe. Tell a buddy, bring a friend. And uh, Nick, I'm gonna do a little more in-depth video of how this travel gauge works like I said it hooks up to the bedways with two magnets and um, and the magnet on the compound will uh, will grab this and show the travel you can zero it out this is just a cheap you know fourteen dollar seven inch Eight, ten, six inch dial caliber from Harbor Freight, whatever it is. But uh, it works great on the mini lathe. Uh, on the Pratt and Whitney, I I'm just going with this two inch travel Shars indicator. 
So I guess you I guess we call that analog. Analog digital. Yeah, I had uh I have or had lots of little tricky things on this mini lathe to uh, make improvements because basically for two and a half, three years, all I really did was upgrades on the 7x10 Harbor Freight Chicago Machinery mini lathe. <laughs> I got a lead on a... Um, on a South Bend milling machine. Craig Tate messaged me a little bit ago and he has found a South Bend milling machine for a very, very reasonable price. I'm uh, waiting to hear back from the person that needs some work. But so do I. So we might have a machine here in the future. Have that baby in the other end, strip that baby apart, fix what we can fix. And it'll be back to school for me. I mean, I'm going to have to learn how to square a block, how to, how to square up a piece of stock. You know, the basics. Got it. I hope it happens. <laughs> okay, I learned not to get my hopes up too high with marketplace stuff. But... Alrighty, guys. I think I already said like and subscribe, tell a buddy, bring a friend, and all that. So, have a good one. Very excited to see Nick leaving comments in my video. Yeah, Nick is good enough.